to Bone joining me right now at the desk. You spoke with two mothers today, uh, one who had an abortion and another who decided to get an adoption is instead. That's right, Sharice. I sat down with Kimberly Schultz, who chose to keep her baby, and Faye Kimbrell, who didn't. Two different women with two different stories. One pro-life and the other pro-choice. Both reacting to today's hearing. Here's their story. I had just turned 15. Kimberly Schultz was a freshman in high school when she got the news. As scared as I was, as much as I didn't know how, but I was determined, you know, that I was going to have and, and keep this baby. Kimberly initially planned to have an abortion, but says she decided to keep the baby. I tell my birth son, his name's Matthew, that he picked his family because the second I picked up his parents' album, he kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked. She opted for adoption. I don't believe that abortion is the answer. Well, Louisiana, we have over 35 pregnancy resource centers in the state. Friday, the court accepted Attorney General Jeff Landry's argument, stating the hearing should not happen in New Orleans. This court is saying is uh, you convinced us we're not the right court that the East Baton Rouge court is, is the right court. So they haven't made a ruling on, on the merits at, at all, although they did dissolve the injunction. I was in high school. Faye Kimbrell was 17 when she learned she was pregnant. And I chose to have an abortion. Faye saying at the time, she wasn't ready to bring a child into the world. I wanted to finish high school. I wanted to go away to college. After becoming a mother and realizing what it means to be a mother, I was even more secure in the choice that I had made. Now a mother of three, she worries for women who won't have the same choice she did. I do have two daughters. Um, I, I never imagined that they would have fewer choices than I did 30 years ago. The nearest clinic performing abortions to Louisiana is Illinois, which is about 700 miles away. Representative Mandy Landry fearing for women's lives. We are going to do whatever they need to do to end the pregnancy, and that is the most dangerous part of all of this to me. You don't have the right to take the life of your own child. You don't get to legislate women's bodies. I have yet to meet any woman that has had an abortion that is not regretting and wondering. Personally, never regretted it. All right, Eleanor, now that the case is back in Baton Rouge, what do we know happens next? What's, what's, when does it happen, really? Well, Sharice, we really don't know. We know today the plaintiffs in this case left New Orleans as soon as the decision was made, saying they were going to Baton Rouge. So now it's a waiting game to see what happens in the state capital. Sharice, Keith Wernan, the professor I spoke to today, told me the decision uh, in the state capital could mm -hmm. either come on the weekend or early next week. All right, thank you so much, Eleanor, for staying.